Hi friends! Welcome back to Storytime. Today we're reading All Aboard, A True Train Story. The five Durango and Silverton narrow gauge steam engines in this story are still in operation today. They were photographed at various locations along their route in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. All aboard! Turn the page and step back to a time when narrow-gauge steam engines clickety-clacked along the historic San Juan wilderness. Ring the bell. All aboard! Woo-woo! Ready to go. Fire blazing. Water steaming. Chugga-chugga. Wheels rolling. Lights blinking. Signs warning, clickety-clack, railroad crossing. Along the track, chugga-chugga, clickety-clack, along the track. Through the field, mighty train, clickety-clack, along the track. Onto the trestle, over the river, clickety-clack, along the track. Up the mountain, round the bend, ch ch choo heavy load. More steam, hiss. Through the town, smoke swirls, woo woo woo, whistle blows. Going back along the track, clickety clack along the track. At the station, smokestack clean, squeak, squeak, just like new. Day ends, turn the train, rest stop. Ring the bell, all aboard, woo woo, ready to go. The end. Thank you so much for joining us this month. Now we'll pop on over to Ronnie for an amazing craft. Hi everyone, this is Ronnie here at the Colorado Railroad Museum, your master craft person, and I'm glad to see you again. We are excited to do a craft that is inspired by the book, All Aboard, A True Train Story. So what we're gonna do is we're going to refer to something that you saw towards the end of the book, and that is a Armstrong turntable. And I think there's going to be a lot of excitement in making a simple little project. Let's get started. So the first things you're going to need is you're going to need a bowl. You need two dessert plates. And I'll explain that later. We are also going to need some scissors, glue, A marker and we also need two popsicle sticks. All right let's get started. Okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have the two plates and I'll explain in a minute. So we're gonna put the two plates together and then we're just gonna cut a third on each side. And if you're not sure, you can maybe take a train and see if your, one of your toy trains is gonna fit on there. Usually this is gonna be a mommy or daddy or family member helping you with that. And then you're gonna get on the other side. Do you wanna make sure that you can you keep it wide enough for a train to get on? There we go. I think that might work. Okay, so you can throw this part away. You don't need this anymore. And then you're gonna get your glue stick and you're gonna give this a little extra support so it can hold a train on it. So put lots and lots of glue. I know it looks like a lot, but it's gonna be worth it at the end. I'm gonna put this on top. Make sure they align. 
and rub it together. Okay, so this is the part of the turntable that you're going to put the train on. So we need to put a track on it. What you need is two lines of track. Okay, there's lettering on our plate, so that's okay. We'll just kind of ignore that. Okay. Believe it or not, you're almost done with your turntable. Okay, so now, just to make sure, you're going to get the bowl, and you're going to put it on top. And if you're using the same kind of um, company or for the bowl and the plate, it fits together better. Okay, so now we have it all together but we're missing the arms on the Armstrong turntable. So this is gonna also be a parent part to do. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a little corner of that and you're just gonna keep making it like a little slit. Just be really careful. If it doesn't come through, go to the other side and kind of break it through on that side. And then you're gonna come on this side, catty corner to it, and you're gonna put the other side. Put another slit. So now all this is ready. Now all you have to do is make the arms. So I'm gonna pull this aside, and we're gonna take our popsicle sticks, and I'm just gonna do one for now. I would suggest black and orange, but you can make them any colors you want. Uh, Sometimes it's people use yellow, but the yellow is not going to show up very much. So at our turntable here at the museum, the bottom part is black. And I'm going to go on both sides. Color the whole thing. And then I'm going to get the black and just going to do stripes down this way. Okay, just to warn you moms and dads and families, you're going to get a little messy on your, on your hands for the kids. So you could just have some uh, baby wipes handy afterwards. Okay, you would do this to both sides and to both of the popsicle sticks. And then you're going to put the orange because it's going to show up better. Okay, just to let you know, these are going to be too long, so you're also going to have to clip them just a little bit, probably about a third of that. And the reason why it's going to be good is it's going to also stabilize the turntable so it's not uh, moving around too much. So now that you, you'll have two of these ready, and then at, you're going to cut them at an angle, eh, about a third off. There it goes. Hopefully I won't hit anybody with that. Oop. So you're going to have two of them like this. And then when you're ready, you're going to put them through the slits that you already did. And at the bottom, it's going to, this is what's going to touch the bottom of the bowl. And that's going to give you some stability on each side. And now you're ready to put your turntable together. And there you go. Now you might be wondering if you can actually put a train on there. Um, I was playing around with it and I had fun doing it. Let's see if Thomas fits on there. Yep, and he's not falling through and it's not sagging. So this is your Armstrong turntable that you could also see here at the Colorado Railroad Museum. Thanks for joining me for this craft. I hope you enjoy it. And we will see you next month for Storytime and Craft. Thank you so much, bye. Like, share, and subscribe. Sharing in particular may qualify as virtual engagements for important funding programs like the SCFD.